Hey, hey dudes, I'm back in the video, and today I'm going to be talking about the most underrated free agency move in the entire league this year, and it's going to be kind of a shocker one, which is going to be the Milwaukee Bucks signing Brook Lopez. Now, you might be kind of be like, how is this at all underrated? Well, I'll be giving a lot of reasons why I think it's a very underrated move and how it could actually help the Bucks be going to propel them into that next level and potentially be finals contenders out of the East. So yeah, so without further ado, without running out too much, let's get right into this video. All right, so I'm gonna get into how this actually helps them. I mean, it helps them a ton. As last year, they had a very, very big hole at that center position as they had John Henson starting and he's a bench player at best who last year averaged 8.8 .8 points per game, 1.5 assists per game, and six point eight rebounds per game so he's not that great of a player and they had a huge hole at center he just was not very good at center and I mean you could really just tell how bad he was doing at that center position as just look last year they were ranked last in rebounds per game and you're not gonna win many games if you were ranked last you're definitely not winning many playoff games if you're ranked last in rebounds per game and just you can't grab the boards at a high level and then also they were ranked the second worst team in second chance points per game which means I mean they aren't able to get many second chances which is going to hurt them a ton because most teams that are like getting high in the like um NBA finals and getting close to the NBA finals is pretty much teams that are able to grab rebounds but also grab offensive rebounds get the team other chances and it'll make their offense go very very smoothly as now they're going to have more and more second chances per game to get more points than the other team which is very big but when you don't get many second chances and you have to pretty much score on the first possession every time or you're not going to score that isn't going to help you very much it's going to hurt your offense by a lot but another big hurt thing was that he's one of the only centers now that cannot spread the court from the three and i mean at least one of the elite centers now that can't spread the court from the three now it's not like you have to be able to but when you're someone like john henson who's not that big in the paint like can't score in the paint much can't pass and he doesn't get many rebounds per game for being a center well, that's going to hurt. You at least have to be able to spread the court, and he's not able to do that. He shot 14% from the three last year. He was an awful shooter, so, I mean, he just can't do much, and he should be a bench player at best. Maybe not even that. I do think he's good enough to be on the bench, but, I mean, I don't know if he's going to be a very solid backup bench player for him. But, I mean, with the addition of Brooke Lopez, it is going to help him a ton. As now, with Brooke Lopez, they can now spread the court, which is huge. When a other team has to worry about, when the other team's center has to worry about your team's center from the three-point line to make him come out of the paint to guard you that is huge because now the other center cannot just sit in the paint let you do whatever you want on the out in the perimeter him sits in the paint and clogs the lane for anybody trying to slash well now with Brooke Lopez now you have someone that last year averaged 35 34 percent from the three which isn't good right or anything but it's still pretty good from the center position and I mean not only is he going to be able to get po more points out of their center position just because he can shoot the three and spread the court but I mean now it's going to open up huge huge opportunities for slashers on their team like Giannis. I mean, Giannis is one of the most unguardable players already, but now when you can attract their center outside of the paint and force him to go guard someone in the perimeter when he could be in the paint trying to help guard Giannis, and now it's going to be pretty much one-on-one -on -one with Giannis and whoever he's guarding him, well, it's going to be GG. You cannot guard Giannis. He's a Greek freak. He's one of the best players in the entire league. You can't guard him one-on-one, -on -one. and when you have no center help in the paint, he's just going to be able to kill you inside all day. But then also, they're already showing improvements. As Just look at this preseason. So just look, they went from rank last in rebounds per game to being the third best in rebounds per game in the preseason this year, which is a huge, huge improvement. Now, yes, it's just preseason. I know you can't look too far into it, but still, that is a very nice thing to see that maybe they are starting to get more and more. And it just shows, I'm pretty sure their uh, preseason record is 3-1. I could be wrong. Correct me on that. That's what I'm thinking of prior knowledge. And rebounds per game will help your team a lot. But also, they're number one in offensive rebounds per game, which is going to help them so much. When your offense doesn't have to score the first time, they can afford to miss the basket because like you're going to be able to grab an um, offensive rebound a couple times a game it is going to be a huge huge thing for them because now you're going to be giving Giannis two chances instead of just one and anytime you give someone as good as Giannis two chances to score more than likely he's going to score one of those two times like at least and I mean obviously you can't score both times because anyone get the offensive rebound because you made it but yeah like if you, if you give him two chances he's most likely going to score but then it also they were ranked 
fifth and second chance points per game, which is going to be a huge. Like I said earlier with the Giannis example, but they also have people like Malcolm Brogdon. He's a shooter. If you give him two chances to shoot a wide open three, he's probably going to hit it. Malcolm Brogdon, I think I just said him, or and I, I did him at Chris Milton. Chris Milton, he's a good shooter. If you give him two chances, he's most likely going to score. They just have a lot of players like that. And also Eric Bledsoe, he's a very good veteran point guard, and he might score every two chances too. So, I mean, the more chances you get on offense, the more points you're going to score, the more points to score, the more better of a chance you have to be the team, obviously. That's common sense. But still, like, you know what I'm trying to say. So, I think the overall move of just adding Brooke Lopez is going to help them so much. They're going to be able to grab boards, get more chances on offense, improve their offense. And also, Brooke Lopez is just a better player than John Henson. He's going to give that veteran leadership his young team absolutely needs. Yes, Eric Bledsoe is a veteran, but he's still not an old veteran that's been in the league forever. He's only, like, 29 years old, so he's not, like, a seasoned veteran. I mean, he's a good veteran, but he's not a beast that you need from Brooke Lopez. I mean, Brooke Lopez has came from all-star level talent. He's played at a high level for a very, very long time. He knows how to win. He's been successful in the league. So, I mean, he just knows how to be successful and put up high, um, like, be able to play at a high level. And he's going to be able to lead this very young team. Giannis is very young. Chris Moten's very young. And Malcolm Brogdon's very young. And those are all the main players to their roster. That's the big three core that they have that they're going to try to build around. So, I mean, with someone that's going to be able to lead them, like Brooke Lopez, show them how to win and be able to bring that playoff experience, it's going to be very, very helpful. So, I mean, I just think overall the addition of Brooke Lopez is going to be a huge, huge thing in Milwaukee Bucks. But unfortunately, guys, I'm going to be the first deal. Comment below. Do you think Brooke Lopez is going to be huge? Do you think this is an underrated free agency move? What do you think the most underrated free agency move is? What are your, your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below? And if you did like the video, put like button and subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. But I also have to thank you for all the support you've been showing. We're at 938 subscribers. We are so, so close to 1K. And I can't wait to hit 1K and just blast through it and get to 2K and then 3K and just keep on going and building on it from here. I just cannot wait. Way, but also have to give all glory to God. You already know he's the reason I'm here. He gave me the blessings to be able to do this for y'all. He gave me the blessings to make these videos. He gave me the blessings to stay motivated. He gave me the blessings to put y'all guy in the position to watch my videos, like him enough to hit that sub button. So I mean, I just cannot thank y'all enough, but also have to give all praise to him. I, he's the reason I'm here. He's the reason we're all here. He's the reason I can do any of this. So I mean, I just cannot thank him enough for this. All praise goes to him. And I hope you have a blessed day. Cause I have a blessed day. So you need to have a blessed day. See you tomorrow's video. Goodbye. Boo.